now let us discuss about resolution in predicate logic example so these are the well formed formulas which are given already in one of the previous video we have seen this example regarding uh, uh, some statements or facts will be given we need to convert those statements or facts into the well formed formulas if marcus was a man then the well formed formula is man of marcus if marcus was a pompian then pompian of marcus i will share that video link in the description as well as first comment so refer that link in order to convert the statements or facts into the well formed formulas now the first step in the resolution is we have to convert these well formed formulas into the class forms so here the first statement is man of marcus there is no change here in class form also the statement is man of marcus only next one is pompian of marcus there is no change pompian of marcus in class form is pompian of marcus only next third one is for all x pompian of x implies roman of x here we have for all x universal quantifier we can drop the universal quantifier directly this is in the form p implies q so we can write as negation p or q so negation pompian of pompian of so for space constraints i am writing pompian as pomp x so here in remaining statements also we have x so we have to rename the variables the variables must be unique so let us take x1 so negation pompian of x1 or q means roman so roman of in place of x let us take x1 so this is the statement in the class form next fourth one is ruler of caesar so there is no difference in class form also the statement is ruler of caesar only next statement for all x roman of x implies loyal to of x comma caesar or hate of x comma caesar here we have universal quantifier so we can remove the universal quantifier directly this is in the form p implies q so the statement is negation p so negation negation p so p means negation roman of x x1 is over let us assume that the next variable is x2 negation roman of x2 or loyal to loyal to of negation p or q loyal to of x2 comma caesar x2 comma caesar or hate of x2 comma caesar x2 comma caesar so negation p or q so next one sixth one so here for all x this is universal quantifier directly we can remove the universal quantifier but y means existential quantifier if we have existential quantifier then replace the existential quantifier by scolem constant so loyal to of loyal to of x x means already x2 is over let us consider it as x3 so y means replace with some constant f of x3 f of x3 next to seventh one so x is universal quantifier y is universal quantifier so directly we can eliminate so this is in the form of p implies q p implies q means negation p or q so p means this entire statement so we have to apply the de morgan law so negation people of negation people of x3 previously x3 so now take x4 negation of and means r negation ruler of negation ruler of y so till now we have not taken any y so let us consider it as y1 negation of and means r negation try assassinate of negation try assassinate of x comma y 
So, here x means x4, y means y1. So, this is nothing but negation p. Negation people of x4 or negation ruler of y1 or negation tri assassinate of x4 comma y1 or q means negation loyal to of negation loyal to of x4 comma y1. So, this is the seventh statement. Next eighth one, there is no difference. Directly we can write. So, try assassinate of Marcus comma Caesar. Marcus comma Caesar. Now, let us see the question. Was Marcus hate Caesar or not? Was Marcus hate Caesar or not? This is the problem. So, first we have to convert the statement into the class form and then we, we need to take negation of that proof. So, in class form we can write this as hate of Marcus comma Caesar. Now, we need to take negation of the proof. Now, based on this class form, we have to solve the problem. So, here the first parent class is negation hate of Marcus comma Caesar. Now, we have to select another parent class which should contain hate of Marcus comma Caesar. So, that both will be cancelled. If we observe the fifth one, here we have hate of x2 comma Caesar. So, we can apply rule 5 in place of x2, we need to replace with Marcus. So, Marcus slash x2, whereas coming to the second one, Caesar, Caesar, both are same only. So, now let us substitute that fifth one. So, negation. Roman of in place of x2 replace with Marcus or loyal to of x2 comma Caesar in place of x2 replace with Marcus Marcus comma Caesar or hate of in place of x2 Marcus Marcus comma Caesar. So, here we have hate of Marcus comma Caesar. Here we have negation hate of Marcus comma Caesar. So, we can cancel these two literals. So, what is the resolvent? Negation Roman of Marcus or loyal to of Marcus comma Caesar. Negation Roman of Marcus or loyal to of Marcus comma Caesar. Now, we have to select another parent class we should contain either Roman of Marcus or negation loyalty of Marcus comma Caesar. So, if we focus on Roman of Marcus, if we see the third one, if we see the third one, so here in, in third one we have Roman of X1, here we have Marcus. So, in place of Marcus, in place of X1, replace with Marcus. So, third one, so negation. Pompey and of in place of x1 replace with Marcus or Roman of in place of x1 replace with Marcus. Here we have negation Roman of Marcus, here we have Roman of Marcus. So we can cancel them. So now the resolvent is so what is the first literal? Loyal to of Marcus comma Caesar or Resolvent is the disjunction of the literals. In the previous video, we have seen that algorithm, resolution in predicate logic algorithm. So, please refer that. Loyal to of Marcus comma Caesar or negation Pompeian of Marcus. Negation Pompeian of Marcus. Now, we have to select a parent class in such a way that it should contain either Pompeian of Marcus or negation loyal to of Marcus comma Caesar. If we observe the second one, we have negation, we have Pompeian of Marcus. So, let us take the third one, second one, second one. So, what is the second one? Pompeian of Marcus. So, Pompeian of Marcus, negation Pompeian of Marcus. So, both will be cancelled. So, here we have the resolvent is loyal to of Marcus comma Caesar. So, now we have to select another parent class 
which should contain negation loyal to of. So if you see the seventh one, here we have negation loyal to. So seventh one, in place of x4, replace with Marcus. So Marcus comma x4. In place of y1, replace with Caesar. So now the result is negation people of what is x4? x4 means Marcus or negation ruler of what is y1? Caesar or negation negation try assassinate of what is x4? Marcus what is y1? Caesar or negation loyalty of Marcus comma Caesar. So here we have negation loyalty of Marcus comma Caesar. Here we have loyalty of Marcus comma Caesar. Yeah, actually we need to write here, but for space constraints I am writing here. Okay, in the down portion. Actually we need to write that statement here. Okay. So here we have negation people of Marcus. There is no difference between people and men. Here we have based on man. We don't have based on people. So now in this problem. We have to introduce another uh, another statement or fact that is the ninth one. Ninth one is all men are people. We have to introduce this fact all men are people. So in well formed formula the statement is for all x man of x implies people of x. Whereas in class form the statement is the statement is negation p or q. So negation man of x or people of x or people of x so now in the in the next statement in the next statement here we have negation ruler of caesar in the fourth statement we have ruler of caesar so we can cancel this statement next negation try assassinate of marcus comma caesar eighth one is try assassinate of marcus comma caesar so we can cancel this one next uh, we have uh, here Loyal to of Marcus comma Caesar. Yeah, uh, this this one is also over. Next we have negation people of Marcus. Here we have people of X. In place of X we need to substitute with Marcus. Then we will get negation man of Marcus. So negation man of Marcus. What is the first one? Man of Marcus. So both will be cancelled. So here what is the result? Empty class is the result. So that means the solution is correct. We can say that. Marcus hate Caesar. Marcus hate Caesar. So this is correct only. So we have to take the contradiction and we need to prove it as empty. So we can say that Marcus hate Caesar. That original statement is correct only. So in this way we can solve this problem. We have two more examples in the next two videos. We will see those two examples. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel as well as share the channel with your friends. Thanks for watching.